Hello, Command Two Point County. This is Commander Harrison Wolf on board a one man space vessel heading. I don't know where. It's cold out here and pretty cool, too. Uh huh. That's how I would sound if they took my suggestion and made the radio station a space station. This next song goes out to our intergalactic listeners. Hey, how's it going? How are you? To whom it may concern. I'm so disappointed in you. Thank you. Ricky Hawthorne. On Two Point Radio. Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Today I balance two hats jauntily on my one singular head. My regular disc jockeying hat is joined by my occasional chef hat. Yes, I'll be taking you all over Two Point County as I recount my latest culinary travels when I set out to find the finest foods our great county has to offer. Just a hungry man in his hatchback. It's a tale as old as time.
announcement. The campus is not responsible for anything that happens in the science lab. The campus does not offer ensuite accommodation. Culinary world is a lot like the real world. There are places, there are smells, there's a chance you'll get lost. After a series of wrong turns, now 60 miles off course, I was treated to the first food of my trip. A wandering puffed pastry and something I believe to be meat. The buttery sausage style matter mingled playfully with hints of pine from my air freshener. It was unexpected. It was dangerous. It was cold in the middle. If you hear this, please drink some water. Thank you. Janitor needed in staff room. If it's not on your CV, it didn't happen. Not to me. Janitor needed to unlock toilets. Lovely.
If you ask me, Hogsport boasts the finest milkshakes in Two Point County. At the Oily Cormorant, they'll serve you a traditional malt in an old leather boot and throw in a salt and vinegar egg. You just cannot beat it. Milkshakes are a great tradition. They're in our blood. In fact, I once received medical attention after enjoying a few dozen shakes and was told that my blood was over 60% ice cream. How <laughs> we laughed. Janitor required in the bathroom. are reminded to try and keep up. taking students for cheese food. How do you follow up the best-selling album in Two Point County history with even more music? Even more. Jasmine Odyssey presents Even More.
advancement. Cheating is the wrong kind of clever. I'm a huge fan of Yeti cuisine. Yes, our neighbors to the north really know their way around a kitchen. From stews and pickles to five-tiered sandwiches and, of course, their pies. Cold hands make the boldest pastry, after all, and it is freezing up there. You really must try it. It's the food of the people, and those people are Yetis. to be nice to each other. If you aren't, who else will?
proceeded in dormitory. I was famished when I arrived at the Royal Tumble Hotel. So much so that I took advantage of my kitchenette and feasted greedily on some toast. When I returned from a walk, I was stunned to find that all crumbage had been decrumbled. The bed was made and the toilet spotless. Every sign of life. washed away. You've got to ask yourself, had I really been staying here? Indeed, do I exist at all? Lovely stuff. Pastoral issues can be remedied by talking to a qualified librarian.
was all about regional delights and cultural differences. One man's casual vol is another's world-shattering epiphany. The people of Smogly have been crusting and dusting their fish for as long as anyone can remember. But at the recently opened What's the Batter, they use a unique cheesy gubbin crumb. Ho oh, ho ho ho! I can safely say that it was the cheesiest fish this DJ had ever eaten. <laughs> That's a winner. Please join me in welcoming the mysterious space rock to campus. students should try to be less terrible.
I hope you enjoyed today's show as much as I enjoyed my trip around this wonderful, mysterious county of ours. But for now, all of this talk about food has made me hungry. So I'm off to the fridge to take out the first thing I find and cover it in mayonnaise. Until next time, I've been Ricky Hawthorne. Cheers! Eating rubbish are reminded that you are what you eat. Intruders on campus, oh no. Healthy body, healthy mind. I came up with that.
Assistant to the library. Thank you. needed in library. You're listening to Campus Radio. I'm DJ Shorts, bringing you small batch homegrown radio with the pulp left in. Here's a musical palate cleanser that's sure to wash that pre-digested rubbish out of your ears. See if you can taste the difference.
system to the library. Thank you. I want to talk about an actor by the name of Roderick Cushion. Now, if you listen to popular thinking, you'd think, now there's a guy who's given up on his craft. There's an actor that would lit. anything for the next peer check and sure I can see how you could think that but you'd be completely missing the point when Roderick Cushion decides to do yet another truly terrible film he's making a statement about the nature of commercial cinema thank you mr. Cushion for fighting the good fight Music review for you now. Over to Maggie, who's been to see the Boogie Nights. That's right, I went to the Boogie Nights concert and it was great. The light, the dancing, and so on. If you like music, this really was music. I do think the campus could do with some better signage, though. <laughs> I mean, I almost missed the concert, and this segment could have been a real train wreck if that had happened. The summer is a good time to relax and prepare for next year. Enjoy your summer. I know I will.
Pastoral support is there for you most of the time. New to the Crumley Student Range, Chicken Stompers. Take the smoothest natural chicken matter from Crumley Farms' boneless chickens. Add our secret seasoning and a touch of traditional stabilizing agents and stamp! You've got Crumley's Chicken Stompers. Breaded for palatability. They really could be anything. Mmm, just like Mama used to make. Nah, I think the Orb Foundation gets far too much criticism. Sure, there's some dodgy information about how they're funded, and they do talk a lot about the Orb being the perfect ship. I can't be the only one sick of those adverts. <laughs> but really, what are they, if not a group of people coming together to appreciate some beauty in this world? Personally, I think we could all learn a little something from them.
enhancement. Healthy body, healthy mind. I came up with that. questions. I believe that smell is you. Welcome to the shore. 
I'm Richard E. Hawthorne, and you join me today for Two Point Radio's Election Day Special. We'll be talking all things mayoral as Two Point County approaches another important day in its history, and indeed, its future. Get in touch to tell us what you're thinking and how you're feeling. Who will be the next mayor of Two Point County? You decide. students should try to be less terrible. We're back. Today's election sees incumbent mayor Tabitha Winsock take on all challengers. One such foe is Gumbo McNally. Yes, the cousin of Jumbo CEO, Jumbo McNally. Ms. Winsock has held a steady, some say tedious lead in the polls over Mr. McNally. But what effect, if any, will his last gas speech have on today's proceedings? If you missed it, Mr. McNally finished a rousing 12-minute display with a story of how he once took a modest pile of change from his father and turned it into an impressive lunchtime spread featuring sandwiches, crisps, and sausage rolls. Oh, now that is impressive.
Tiger is not a toothbrush. Intruders, please not come in. Students are reminded to find themselves. This from Michelle and Smogley. I spoke to Mayor Winsock after a Q&A once and told her that I'd written her a letter. She said that she remembered reading it, but I'd never sent it to her. So what? Did she break into my house? Or is she, like, telepathic, but just with post? What a lovely anecdote, Michelle. And aren't we lucky to have a mayor that's willing to go above as well as beyond? Despite the rumors, the campus grounds are not a toilet. Frequently asked questions, I believe that smell is you.